Hi, Sirius Reese here, Battler, and Tomorrow Revenge's New Game Minus 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 video episode 7. And I've done some off camera progression, and I'm up to 1.5 thousand or 1,500 galaxy points, which is enough to get this upgrade with 500 left over. So it's gonna, this is gonna be nerfed a little bit, but should be pretty good. Like, I'm not sure exactly what it's gonna do. It's now the product of, of bot times. 0 0.24 instead of instead of just two zero maybe I, I so this is the no, normal runs I, I literally just go up to 40 eighth dimensions turn the, the confirmation off because that's getting annoying so now this is up to 0 0.025 and I think this is so a, as we're doing this it's I'm not sure exactly how many tick speed boosts I'm going to need to get up to 60 it does look like I'm going to need to reset a few times unfortunately the resetting is getting very annoying, but whatever. I have to deal with it. It now costs 50, or almost 50 8th Dimensions to get the Tick Speed Boost. I just one more Tick Speed Boost, just one more, and then I can push all the way to 60 8th Dimensions. So 50 here, that's... Yeah, this, this is this is not even a grind at all. It's, it's just that quick. And now, yeah, now you can see this now has an edge on the on the other on the tick speed the regulars tick speed boosts because or on the tick speed because or the multiplier you get from the tick speed because of the buff you get from it so see you can see it's not as fast I was getting about 200 or um, like 250 per minute like doing the short runs so I I, I really don't don't think it's more efficient to do the runs like this but it's you can see it's already a lot easier to go for 70 eighth dimensions like it th th this is just the first time i'm going for it and it's easy to to get it, it, it it's that it's that fast it, it it's, it's it's crazy how fast this, this is like it's like i'm barely doing anything it just takes 10 seconds to reach 70 eighth dimensions which previously was something that would take that was essentially impossible or, or if it was possible it would take many hours or at least half an hour so it happening like this is just crazy and now I'm gonna try to go all the way to 80 eighth dimensions if, if as if 70 wasn't enough and eventually I'm gonna need I'm gonna want to get 90 eighth dimensions because that's the next galaxy and you know how overpowered the galaxies are right or at least they're gonna it's gonna make it so i can get more tick speed boosts without resetting the game which will be really useful plus it'll make this go to 1.06 times buffing the tick speed boosts i already have but at least we're, we're getting up to 75 gives us this which will i think the tick speed will or at least the multiplier that's essentially your tick speed I, I just I just call it the, the tick speed, even though the game does not call it that. Is yes, yeah, now into the billions, and it's going to be even easier to get the one that costs instead of seventy five. It's going to cost eighty, even though they're essentially the same cost, because the weird way the dimensions, the dimension costs the system works. But yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, getting up all the way to eighty. I I'm so tempted to try to push to ninety. I don't think it's going to be useful to push to 90, however. Like, I, I really... Like, even 70 is becoming fast, but 80 is another story. Or not 80. Like, 90 is another story. Like, 70 is now almost, almost trivial. 80 takes just, like, a few seconds to get. But 90 is going to be... Yeah, that's another story. Unfortunate, unfortunately. But maybe if we, if we can push all the way to 90... It's going to be even easier. And you can see we're now sacrificing. I think I sacrificed at like 110. And another thing here is the next upgrades cost one quadrillion galaxy points. So, yeah, that, that's that's actually quite, quite annoying. And, like, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to go for at this point. Because because they're just so expensive. Maybe I should try to get the bar all the way to 100%. I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do at this point in the game. 
Like, that's... It's weird, but that's the goal. I feel like I just, I just get more galaxy points. I'm, I real, I'm bent on getting all the way to 90 eighth dimensions because it's a galaxy, and galaxies are, and I really want to see how powerful adding an extra galaxy is going to be here. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back a little bit later, and we can get 90 eighth dimensions. So here is another antimatter galaxy. It is going to reset all of our tech speed boosts. I, I really feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to get all the way up to 11 tick speed boosts without any re without it resetting anything. So that's that's gonna that's gonna really change how it works here. So we can quickly get back up to 60 eighth dimensions, but 60 isn't even a, a lot anymore. It's now gonna be it's now gonna be like 70 eighth dimensions and a lot. Let's actually see how powerful tick speed boost is. So I'm I'm gonna actually reset here just. So it's at 3 million. Now when I do the next tick speed boost, it's going to be at 19 million. So that's about a six times production boost. It's probably nerfed by the dilation effects, but it's still just, that's, you can see it's really making a difference. Each, each and every tick speed boost. And I can do, I can do these next few resets without, um, without having to actually reset dimension boosts. So that's actually that's really nice to, to be able to get, and maybe I can try to push to 90 again so I can just get maximum galaxy points. But I'm not I'm not exactly sure what the most what the best option here to do is. I don't know why this updated because because that's the peak. But whatever, I I know the peak was like 120, 130. I I I didn't hack. I, I promise. I didn't I didn't I didn't do any hacks. So. Yeah, there's not really much. I, I actually no. I'm I'm really close to 90. I, it's not. It's not even that. I'm I'm close enough to 90 that I I'm just gonna go for it. But I'm not even gonna get the tick speed boost because I just want the increased galaxy points. So, and the tick speed boosts don't actually give you any galaxy points, which I I always find a little strange because these two help with the galaxy points and just the amount of eighth dimensions you have. But whatever. That's what. That's what that's what it is so I this is definitely not the most efficient strategy to get um, just for everything but at least it's gonna be buffing this it's now up to 3.71 times and getting 90 eighth dimensions gives me total 660 actually we're gonna do it at 666 there it is 666 galaxy points and I feel like the, sh the normal short runs, they used to take 48, but while I was, I was doing the off-camera grinding, it was 51 because the buff to the formula. So, yeah, now it's 56 galaxy points each time. And I, I know this isn't going to be very good for, for like, doing... I, I feel like this isn't going to be that good because the next goal is to get a quadrillion galaxy points. We're barely into the thousands, much less the millions or billions, trillions, and then you get to quadrillions. So I'm really not sure what the best strategy is. Maybe, maybe I can do another long run, perhaps, because because I, I'm going to see what going for another long run is going to be like, because this product is now better. And okay, I'm going to have to reset a few times. Just a few times, maybe. I don't. Okay, I, I still think it's fastest to try to get everything up to the 58th dimensions cleared before I get the third galaxy. Eventually, I'm gonna need to get the fourth. I think the galaxy, yeah, the galaxy scaling is is the exact same as in New Game Minus Minus because like it, it seemed it seemed familiar, but yeah, that, that's that's where that's why it's familiar. Because it's the same as New Game Minus Minus. So, 6, 7 is where I reset. Um, it's peaked at 249 per minute. Let's see what, what we can even get from this. We get, we can actually get almost 220 per minute. So, maybe this is the, the best way to go. If we just get 70 8th Dimensions. I feel like that could be the best route. I'm not exactly sure what the most efficient strategy really is at this point it's 
maybe this, I feel like this thing is actually, doesn't scale very harshly, so, because now all the way up to, um, 0.32, so, maybe another strategy is to try to get 50 instantly, instead of 40 instantly, and that gives me a bump in how many galaxy points I can get, just like, for free. Yeah, look at this, 400 per minute, just because of that little improvement. And if I just keep doing this, I feel like I'll be able to to get, I don't know, like something like maybe 4,000 galaxy points, and then, I, and then I'll go on another truly long run. That, that's what I feel like, 4,000 galaxy points before I try to go on another long, like, just long run, because this is... Because getting to 98th dimensions didn't really do much for my galaxy points, yet it um, it just takes it's taking a long time to reach. So this is actually very similar to New Game Minus Minus, where in that game you it would just there'd be like this inflation period, like after, essentially in this almost in the same spot as I was here, and then. After you get to like 5,000 galaxy points, it just is very slow. And the whole goal is to just reach, to get that bar to reach, the bar at the bottom to reach 100%. That's that's the entire goal. So, yeah, let, let's just see where, where, where we will be at once so we have 4,000 galaxy points. Or maybe even 5,000 galaxy points. I'm not even sure, but more galaxy points than we do now. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.